Hi guys, welcome to Brandex Reviews, and this one I'm going to be covering some of the recent interviews with Kevin Feige of Marvel Studios. I'm just going to kind of talk about some of the things that he said, because a few articles kind of floating around online and some links to videos and stuff, which you can see some of them at brandexreviews.com, but I just thought rather than just posting that, um, I want to do a little video on it and just kind of say what I think as a fan. So uh, there's a few pointers to this. There's two articles in particular, both of them are based on his interviews, because he's doing interviews to promote... Avengers Age of Ultron and people are kind of picking him up on questions about the Spider-Man franchise, uh, the new Spider-Man franchise, which um, starts next year with Captain America, the Civil War film. Now, just to, just to explain, just to clarify very quickly, because there's still people out there that don't know this or don't understand this. The the last five Spider-Man films, so starting from 2002 with Tobey Maguire, they did a trilogy they stopped the trilogy, capped off, rebooted it in 2012 with with Andrew Garfield, Amazing Spider-Man, that's the name of the film. Uh, and there was a sequel to that which came out last year. So um, those films were made by Sony. They do not tie in with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So all the films that tie in with the Avengers, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, all that, those do not connect, they aren't canon with the Spider-Man films that have come so far. Now, um, the last couple of films, although they were successful, they weren't as successful as Sony wanted them to be, so what's happened is Sony and Marvel, because Sony owned the license to make the Spider-Man films um, going back years, so Marvel and Sony have done a deal to collaborate, basically, and have Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe alongside Iron Man and Captain America, so we're going to see that first new Spider-Man rebooted with a new actor and everything, um, it's kind of a bit of a shame because I like the, the Andrew Garfield films, but those films are gone. They aren't doing any more of those. Um, just, I was just kind of explain. But we're going to see that first Spider-Man in next year in the Civil War Captain America film. So that's what we're talking about here. This is what um, Kevin Feige has elaborated on because a lot of this... I mean, a lot of people weren't happy with the fact that they rebooted Spider-Man in 2012, but then they rebooted it yet again uh, another four years after that, so 2016, with a new actor... And people are saying, seriously, two main points that have been coming. I mean, there's a lot of points, but the two major ones, myself, I, I have these concerns. We don't want another origin story. We don't need to see Peter Parker again, bit by Spider again. We've seen that before. We know how he is Spider-Man. The second big point is we don't want to see Uncle Ben getting killed again because that was another thing that they could have just omitted from the, la the Amazing Spider-Man, the 2012 one. And they could have done like what they did with the Hulk film, the 2008 film, where it's like, you know how he becomes a Hulk, let's just kind of do a kind of a montage at the beginning maybe, just to kind of bring us up to this point where he's already the Hulk. We don't need to see his origin story. So hopefully that's what they're going to kind of do with this new Spider-Man. So those are two points, origin story and Uncle Ben getting killed. We didn't want to see it. So um, two articles. The first one is under the headline, the new Spider-Man movie won't be an origin story, exclamation mark, which is great. Now, I've got the article posted at Brandex Reviews. If you're watching this video off the website directly, just scroll down because it's the last article before this video. Um, if all goes to plan, anyway. Um, so there's a few, like I said, a few quotes with Kevin Feige. So what I'm seeing, saying here is what Kevin Feige has said. So this isn't intimate room, this isn't gossip. Um, so under that, like I said, under the headline about um, what be an origin story. There is a young kid already running around New York City in a homemade version of the Spider-Man costume in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You just don't know it yet. In Spider-Man's very specific case, where there have been two retellings of that origin in the last whatever it's been, 13 years, for us, we're going to take it for granted that people know that and the specifics. So that's what we want it to be the case. So that's good. That's good news, because Kevin Feige is saying... We know who Spider-Man is, you know who Spider-Man is, you don't need a retelling of that story, so that's great. He's also mentioned the costume there as well, which um, was something I was thinking about, because don't get me wrong, I love the costumes from all the other Spider-Man films. I thought they looked really slick and really nice. But, you know, um, even in a world where a guy can go with spider webs and stuff, it wasn't very realistic. God, I can't believe I'm saying that but about Spider-Man, uh, that I'm complaining about that. But it wasn't very realistic that this teenager could make a suit that is that high-tech and just 
nice, you know, uh, based on the amount of money that it actually took to make. The film that the filmmakers had to spend making that costume, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars technology. Um, it really, it, as nice as it looked, I think it just looked too nice. But, uh, so in this one, it does seem it's going to be more of a homemade, I mean, that was supposed to be homemade, but it didn't look it, but a more authentic homemade looking costume in this one. Now, whether it's going to be just like him in his pyjamas that he's just kind of drawn on, I don't know. I don't know quite. They're going to have to kind of find that balance because if they make it too amateur looking, it's going to look ridiculous, depending on what the vibe they're going to go with. Um, I mean, if he's supposed to be just a street level vigilante, I don't know. I don't quite know how that would work, but I'm sure I'm, I've got a lot of faith. I've got a lot of faith it'll be good. Um, it's kind of gone on anyway. That's that quote that I was talking about, the, the costume. He's, he's elaborated as Kevin Feige again saying, we've already designed a costume, which is very different from any of the ones that you've seen, uh, well, any, any of the ones that have come before, and yet ours is classic Spidey, as I think you'll see. So I do think it's going to be less, as I say, just glossy and just shiny like it was in other films um, where it was made with like lasers and stuff that I mean the filmmakers the way that they, they did it uh, laser cutting technology I don't I don't think it's going to be quite that slick but I don't think it's going to be too amateurish I imagine anyway we'll wait and see we'll wait and see um, now there's another issue as well there's the age of the Spider-Man character the actor because there's another video interview which is on Collider.com it's under the headline, Kevin Feige confirms Peter Parker talks high school Spidey. Now, um, if you're looking it up, this is the this is the article you want to look, look up anyway. You'll probably see that anyway. If you just type that in, you'll, you'll see it. But there's a video where he's talked about it. It's only a short video, but I'll, I'll read some of the quotes off here anyway, because uh, it's, again, quite interesting. So he said, in terms of the age of the actor, we'll eventually cast, we don't know, the age. In terms of the age of what we believe Peter Parker is, I'd say 15 or 16 is right. So with the last actor that he went with, Andrew Garfield, he was like nearly 30, but he was supposed to be a good 10 years younger than that, and he was leaving high school. This one is supposed to be about 15 or 16 now. Again, he hasn't said, he hasn't kind of confirmed like the age of the actual actor, which kind of leads me to believe that they haven't cast him yet, finally. Um... If, if he, unless he's being kind of elusive about it, but um, it, it's certainly a good good way to go with a character because he did say in this interview as well. There's a lot of things that they haven't done with Spider-Man, not just the franchise, like with villains and stuff. But the actual character, a lot of places they haven't taken his character in the films. Um, I'll just read a little bit more anyway. <clears throat> We want to play with Spider-Man in the high school years because, frankly, there have been five Spider-Man films and the amazing thing about it is, even though there have been five Spider-Man films, there are so many things from the comics that we haven't been that haven't been done yet. Not just characters or villains or supporting characters, but sides to his character. The most obvious being the young, doesn't-quite-fit-in kid before his powers, then the fellow that puts on a mask and swings around and fights bad guys and doesn't shut up, which is something that we want to play with and we're excited about. Um, so, and then what else he said? Um, I think it was midway through the first film that he graduated high school. At the beginning of the second Mark Web Webb film, he graduated high school. And some of my favourite Spider-Man arcs and Spider-Man stories, he's in high school for a lot of it. We want to explore that. That also makes him very, very different from any of our other characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is something we want to explore. How unique he is when he's put against all these other characters. Which I would definitely say is, is a plus point for these films, because I get that impression when I've read the comics before. You kind of get Spider-Man's kind of cool on his own, but when he's with the Avengers, he's out of his league, and he knows it as well. He's kind of overwhelmed that he's, you know, fighting alongside these guys. And also, having read the Infinity Gauntlet graphic novel series, um, Spider-Man was quite an important part in that. I know he was in the Civil War film, which is obviously why they're starting his character in the Civil War film next year, but particularly in the Infinity Gauntlet, there's that fairly iconic scene at the beginning of the book where Thanos clicks his fingers and wipes out half the universe, literally with a click of his finger, because he's got the Infinity Gauntlet on, he can do that. And half the universe including obviously people on Earth, just vanish, they just die, they're kind of erased. And Spider-Man's kind of swinging through the, the streets and he's kind of thinking, shit, why is everyone vanishing? And then he's like, Mary Jane, kind of thing. 
So and then he kind of went on to fight in the the battle for the Infinity Gauntlet as well. So it does seem you know quite important that he we see Spider Man in that because he was in the the origin that they're basing it on. So we're really glad that they've brought Spider Man into this because those films that they've done so far kind of good in their own right. But there's so much more that they can do with a character. And that's what Kevin Feige was talking about. If you're a Spider-Man fan, which I'm not massively, he's one of my lesser favourite characters, to be honest, in the Marvel comics. Um, but if you are a fan, I know one of my core reviewers, The Core, is. And um, you know he's told me a lot of the kind of story arcs that, they've, that, that he's read about Spider-Man. And there's just a lot of it they've just never done in the films. Or if they've, they've kind of touched upon it in the films, like, the, like Venom, for example, the whole stuff with that. Um, and they just didn't really do a very good job with it. So I think now that it's in Marvel's hands a little bit more, it's, Sony's still got creative you know, input as well, but now that they're collaborating and stuff, I think that they're really going to do what the fans want to see. Kevin Feige himself, although he's you know a businessman for this, he is a big fan as well, like a true fan of these, which is why they've been so good, because it's the fans that are making it. It's Marvel that's making them. So... Um, I don't, I don't. I could go on anyway. I could kind of ramble on a little bit more, but so that's that's the news anyway that's come out of say. None of this is internet rumor or gossip. It's all Kevin Feige based on what he said recently because he's been doing interviews for Avengers: Age of Ultron that's coming up in cinemas pretty soon. So he's been getting asked a lot about this because a lot of interest, a lot of intrigue with what they're going to do with this new Spider-Man. So um, we'll leave it there because, like I said, I could ramble on. So if you want to follow more about this, I will be posting more things at randexreviews.com. Not that you need to go there to, to see this because it's all over the internet, but um, whenever stuff like this comes out, I'll either post the icon or post a video, do whatever, or both, which I've done in this case. So check that out, brandxreviews.com. You can subscribe to us. You can like our page on Facebook. There's going to be some information about that coming up at the end of this video. So for now, I'm going to leave it there and say thank you very much for watching. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just so you know, for more news, reviews and retrospectives, you can like our page on Facebook, simply called Brand X Reviews. But as well as that, you can also subscribe to us on YouTube via this video. You can also bookmark our website, which is brandxreviews.com, which is pretty much a central hub for everything that I've just mentioned. So check that out and we will see you next time. Thank you very much.